guys your friend to gopika is here and today i'll teach you the practice set 3.4 okay actually the first half of it so there are almost eight uh, seven to eight problems in the uh, practice set we will discuss half of the problems in this video and the rest half next video so without wasting time let's get started so this is the first question first let me choose the pointer okay so the question says in the figure 3.56 which is given on the right side is a circle with center o length of the chord ab is equal to the radius of the circle so here if you see in this diagram oa is radius ob is also radius and chord ab is of the same length as of the radius okay so you make a small observation over here the triangle aob is an equilateral triangle since all three sides are congruent next find the measure of each of the following first thing we need to find is measure angle aob so this uh central angle of the arc ab that is our angle aob we need to find so the first thing we observe or the observation which i already told you is chord ab is same as r r is the radius of the circle okay and chord ab is same as r then segment oa is equal to segment ob is equal to segment ab since these two are radius and uh, chord ab is same as the radius by the given information so all three sides are equal then the triangle aob is equilateral hence all the angles of an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees so here also we have angle aob to be 60 degree so the first part is over second part measure of arc ab so this is not the second part this is the third part since this uh, comes with continuation with the angle aob i wrote it here measure of arc ab is same as measure angle aob this is by definition of measure of the arc by definition measure of the arc is same as the corresponding central angle so measure of arc ab is equal to measure of angle aob which is 60 degrees next measure angle acb this is the second uh, question second sub question so acb here if you see aob is the central angle whereas acb is inscribed angle so by inscribed angle theorem acb measure of acb will be half of the measure of the arc so half measure of arc ab and that is equal to half into 60 degrees so here we have applied the inscribed angle we need to mention the reason over there okay so uh, half of it will be 30 degrees so measure of angle acb is 30 degree next fourth part is measure of arc acb that is measure of this major arc acb okay so the minor arc which is ab is 30 degrees uh, is of uh, um 60 degree measure so the rest part acb can be found by definition it is 360 degree 360 degree means the measure of the full circle from 360 degree if you subtract the measure of the minor arc you get the measure of the major arc so 360 minus 60 is 3 that means measure of arc acb is 300 degrees okay next this is the second question here in the figure 3.57 quadrilateral pqrs is cyclic okay and side pq is congruent to side rq angle psr is 110 degrees we need to uh, find two things actually there are uh, three uh, parts of the there are three or four sub questions in the uh, question number 2 first two we will discuss here so first is measure of angle pqr so you need to find measure of the angle pqr okay now what is given here is that this quadrilateral is cyclic that means all the vertices is lying on a circle and secondly they have given that side pq is congruent to side rq okay and measure of angle psr is also given it is 110 degrees now when we have the measure of angle psr we know that this angle psr plus angle pqr is 180 degrees since opposite pair of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary this is the statement of cyclic quadrilateral theorem okay so first for the first question given psr is 110 degrees and side pq is congruent to side rq that is the given information we start with the first sub question below measure of angle pqr now measure of angle pqr plus measure of angle psr is equal to 180 degrees 
since opposite angles of uh, since they are opposite angles of cyclic quadrilateral and hence they are supplementary by cyclic quadrilateral theorem so measure of angle pqr should be 180 degree minus measure of angle psr psr is given to be of 110 degrees so if you take the difference you will get angle pqr to be 70 degrees next second sub question is measure of arc pqr so measure of this arc pqr you need okay so here if you see this angle psr is an inscribed angle and hence by inscribed angle theorem measure of angle psr is equal to half the measure of arc pqr so psr is inscribed in the arc psr the uh, arc opposite to it is arc pqr so by inscribed angle theorem this inscribed angle or psr psr is half of the intercepted arc or the arc opposite to it that is pqr so half of pqr now measure of arc pqr we need to find that we can find using the fact that it should be 2 into measure angle psr because because from this equation this 2 if we if it goes to the other side it will get multiplied and hence we got the second equation now in the place of measure angle psr we substitute the value so measure of arc pqr is equal to 220 degrees This is the third part, uh, the third and the fourth sub question of question number two. The third question says you need to find measure of arc QR, that is this particular arc QR. Okay. Given that angle PSR, so this given details remains the same. From the third sub question, if you see measure of arc QR is equal to what? That is what we need to find. Now here, chord, this chord, PQ and this chord QR, both of them are congruent, which is given in the question. Okay. Now, if these two chords are congruent, then we know that corresponding arcs which are formed, that is PQ and RQ or PQ and QR are congruent. Okay, so this is by the theorem which says corresponding arcs of congruent chords are congruent and corresponding chords of congruent arcs are congruent. Both the ways it is true. So, if you have two congruent chords, then their corresponding arcs are also congruent. Okay, now using this fact, Plus, if you see this PQR, this full arc PQR should be measure of arc PQ plus measure of arc QR. So, the full arc PQR is 220 degrees we found in the second part, second sub question. 220 degrees is equal to twice the uh, measure of arc QR. Since these two are measures are equal, I can write uh, like in place of PQ, I can write QR and then if you add these two, you get two times the arc QR. So, arc QR is 220 upon 2 which is 110 degrees. QR is also 110 degrees and arc PQ is also 110 degrees. Okay. Next, we need fourth part of the question. We need to find measure of angle PRQ. Now, here if you see this particular angle PRQ, this we need to find. Okay. Now, here this is an inscribed angle. So, its measure will be half of the arc PQ. So, half of measure of arc PQ will be half of 110 degrees that should be 55 degrees okay because QR is 110 then P, PQ has to be 110 and half of 110 is 55 degrees so very simple applications of so actually here in the problem we applied or we used the cyclic quadrilateral inscribed angle theorem also and the congruent chords and congruent arcs theorem also so several uh, things we used okay this is the third question in the practice set quadrilateral m r p n is cyclic angle r is 5x minus 13 degrees angle n is 4x plus 4 degrees find the measures of angle r and angle n so here the variable x is used and here we need to find that x first and then we need to substitute the value of x in these two equations to get angle r and angle n now since this quadrilateral mrpn is cyclic the cyclic quadrilateral theorem which we learned says that the opposite pair of angles the pair of opposite angles are supplementary 
Here if you see this angle M and angle P are opposite angles. Similarly angle R and angle N are opposite angles. So these two measures given are opposite angles. If you add angle R plus angle N, the answer should be 180 degrees by cyclic quadrilateral theorem. So use that fact over here. So adding mx minus uh, angle r plus angle n is 180 degrees. So 5x minus 13 plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 180 degrees. Now 5x plus 4x is 9x minus 13 plus 4 is minus 9 and that is equal to 180 degree. Next in the next step 9 will go to the other side. So 9x will be 189 and x will be 189 divided by 9 and that would be 21 degrees. So x is 21 degrees. Now to find angle r it should be 5x minus 13 so it is 5 into 21 minus 13 and that would be 92 degrees. Next for angle n it should be 4x plus 4 that is 4 into 21 plus 4 and that would give you 88 degrees. So very simple question and very simple application of cyclic quadrilateral theorem. So let's see the next problem. This is the fourth question. In the figure 3.58, segment RS is a diameter of the circle with center O. Point T lies in the exterior of the circle. Prove that angle RTS is an acute angle. So here if you see, this is, uh, this is how the diagram of the textbook looks like. Uh, this RS is the diameter, O is the center. And we have a point T to the exterior of the circle. Here we need to prove that if you join this RTS, that is the angle RTS is acute angle. Acute angle means it's an angle of measure less than 90 degrees. Okay, Obtuse means greater than 90 degrees and acute angle means less than 90 degrees. Okay, So we make a construction over here. So first thing is we join this RT and TS. Next is uh, okay, first is draw uh, triangle RTS. Next, draw segment QS such that, you now here we drew, uh, we have to make construction such that from S you uh, draw towards the line RT or you draw this segment QS like this such that this RQT is collinear. Okay, that means wherever this RT cuts the circle, that point is Q and you join QS that's it okay and Q is lying on the circle next the proof is what happens over here is if you see this particular angle RQS it's an inscribed angle and it is inscribed in the semicircle if RS is diameter then this RQS this full thing is a semicircle or a semicircular arc okay it's half circle so if RQS is half circle and angle RQS is inscribed in it, then by inscribed angle theorem or by corollary of inscribed angle theorem, uh, we know that angle RQS is 90 degrees. Okay? In the corollary, we had learned that whenever an angle is inscribed in a semicircle, its measure is equal to 90 degrees. So that is what happening here. Angle RQS is 90 degree since this angle is inscribed in a semicircle. Next part is angle SQT is also 90 degrees. Why? Here if angle RQS or angle SQR is 90 degree that means this SQ is perpendicular to RT. SQ is perpendicular to RT means this side also 90 degree that side also it should be 90 degrees. So in this particular triangle angle SQT is also 90 degrees. Uh, if you don't want to write the perpendicular part you can um, you know that this is the angle in linear pair these two angles. So here it is 90 degree then here also it should be 90 degrees because sum is 1D. Next in angle SQT now this uh, not in angle in triangle SQT this particular triangle here angle SQT is 90 degrees okay. And uh, angle QTS okay now if you have a triangle okay whenever you have a triangle with uh, one of its angle uh, right angle or with one of its angle night to be 90 degrees then the other two angles both the angles have to be less than 90 because we kn we know that sum of the angles triangle is 
180 degrees. So, if half part of it went in one angle, the rest two part has to be less than 90. So, that you get a complete, uh, get the sum of the angles to be 180. Okay. So, when well, you have a right angle triangle, if angle Q is 90 degrees, then angle T and angle has, has to be less than 90. So, it can be 90, 60, 30 or it can be 90, 45, 45 or it can be 90, 40, 50. Anyhow, uh, anything is possible. If one angle Q is 90 degree, then the rest two angles if you add, its measure should be 90 because total sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So, angle T plus angle Q plus angle S is 180 degrees. Angle Q is 90. So, angle T plus angle S has to be 180 minus 90 that is 90 degrees. If sum of angles T and S is 90 degrees, then they are less than 90 that means. Hence, angle RTS is acute angle. Okay. So, here we are using the corollary of an uh, inscribed angle theorem where it says that if an angle is inscribed in a semicircle, its measure is half of the semicircle which is half of it and that is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, so that's all. That's that was the first half of the practice set, uh, three point four. So if you like the video, please share it with your friends and please subscribe the channel. You can also follow us on Instagram and do write your doubts on the comment section or you can also ask us or DM us on Instagram. We will respond to you as soon as possible.